While there are numerous stud farms in and around the Newmarket area, the foremost of those is the National Stud, dedicated to the improvement of British racing and breeding. And while racing did begin in England and then eventually found its way to America, in a way it's kind of come full circle as many American-born stallions are serving here at the National Stud, including Suave Dancer and the likes of past greats Mill Reef. One of the most beautiful stud farms in England's East Anglia region, the National Stud is set over 500 scenic acres next to the July Racecourse in Newmarket. A full service facility, the National Stud normally stands at least eight stallions each year, all with stellar credentials. The stud also serves as a residence, both permanent and seasonal, for many mares as well as their foals and yearlings. Miles Littlewert serves as chief executive He's the man charged with continuing the National Stud's successful tradition. The National Stud dates back to 1916 when it was donated to the nation. And at that stage, it was based over in Ireland, um, County Kildare, what is now the Irish National Stud. And it remained over there until 1943 when uh, it was moved to, to England. And then in 1965, it was moved here to Newmarket, which is really considered the center of racing and breeding in the UK. Many famous runners have called the National Stud home after their racing careers have ended. None have been as revered as the American bred and owned Mill Reef. He has been immensely successful. He's bred seven individual um, classic winners. Uh, he's been champion sire. Little Word is hoping that Mill Reef's success can continue a decade after his death with the addition of American bred Suave Dancer. Like Mill Reef, Suave Dancer won numerous Group 1 races in Europe before retirement. He won the French Derby, uh, the Arc de Triomphe, the Irish Champion Stakes, um, and has now that started his stud career. He's got his oldest progeny and our four-year-olds. He's also doing a Southern Hemisphere stint uh, in Australia. He spent the last two of our winters out in Australia covering Southern Hemisphere time. So he's been a very important sort of servant to us so far. Through the likes of Mill Reef and Suave Dancer, the stud is realizing one of its goals by moving well beyond the boundaries of the United Kingdom, thanks in part to contributions from American horses and horsemen. No, we're evolving. We've evolved um, tremendously in the last sort of 10 years. Uh, we're also open to the public. It's one of the few studs in the UK that is open to the public on a regular basis. Um, we have started a breeders club whereby um, members of the public can come in and can join the breeders club and have a stake in, in the breeding operation. Now I can see us changing an awful lot. Um, the, the shuttle standings we talked about are something that we've developed over the last three or four years and uh, we have to be global, we have to be international. From the National Stud in Newmarket, England, I'm Dale Day for the Remington Park Update.